Yeah, you've seen Jake Sanderson was the, the top defenseman off the board in the first round. Uh, here you see sort of the next, uh, the, the big four defensemen, Owen Power from Canada, Simon Edmondson from Sweden, and Luke Hughes from the USA are kind of coming off the board here, as well as uh, some of your potential loans from the NHL. Uh, you know, Quinton Byfield, is he going to be healthy? Seth Jarvis has become a, a real important player for Carolina. Yeah. Suddenly, you know, he was a healthy scratch for so long. Now he's scoring game-winning goals last night. Uh, is he a guy that Carolina would release back to the World Juniors? Everybody thought he was just there for soak up the experience and he'd be coming back to Portland in the WHL. Well, he's looking like an NHL player. So uh, some some NHL loan potential here as well as uh, certainly the, the the big defenseman. And then uh, I'll let you chime in on the, the name at number 12. Well, you know, I, I think Connor Bedard is going to be on this team. I, you know, I... Somebody said it the other day in our chat, and I apologize for not having the name. It'd be weird if he got exceptional status and did not make the team, but you take the best players. And if Connor Bedard, for whatever reason, isn't, you know, up to the to the challenge at the camp, he's not going to make the team. I think he's on the team. I think he's a terrific player. I finally got to see him live, uh, and it was a treat. And, you know, he didn't even do a whole lot in that night, and it was still a treat to watch just how he anticipates things so well. So I, I'm, I'd be shocked if he was not, not on this team. Yeah, I think he's under underperforming or statistically in, in the WHL to some degree. I saw today the Regina Pats made a coaching mm-hmm. change. Uh, so that obviously uh, will impact Connor Bedard. But I think, uh, again, he's just such a talent. And he was so good at the under-18 Worlds that I think yeah. he's, and like I said, the exceptional status. But I think Dan Nadeau pointed out that it'd be weird if if they if he didn't make the roster for Canada. Right. And if, if he does, Dean, uh, we're probably looking at him at number two instead of number 12 because uh, you get two years of Connor Bedard. And, and he'll be good in this year's tournament, but think how good he'll be at next year's tournament when he could be uh, the MVP of next year's tournament in his draft year. Uh, him and Mishkov going head-to-head for first overall uh, status at the World Juniors. So I think Connor Bedard, if he's on the, the, the World Junior team uh, on December 19th, I think he goes a lot higher than 12th overall.